Shaq Taylor. Oscar nominee Jill Clayburg and the long-awaited announcement of the two couples that were going to help to have a baby. Isn't that great? It's all coming up along with lots more. So stay right where you are, okay? Okay. excited because today is the day we are going to announce the two couples that will be working with Dr. Sherman Silver and the St. Luke's Hospital in Missouri to conceive a child. It is very, very, very exciting. We've been looking for these people. We received over 800 videotapes. It was so difficult to decide on which two couples um, we, we should pick to help them try to have a baby. I mean, they sent, not only do they send in tapes, which are wonderful and moving, they send in all kinds, they send in baby rattles, you know what I'm saying? They send in, uh, one tape came in a little diaper, a little pamper, and I know, another came in, um, it's just so sad, because everybody wants a child so badly, in a little baby, I don't know what this is. <laughs> it's a shirt if the kid has no arms or legs, it's not a shirt. <laughs> I don't know, a, little, a stupid baby thing. Anyhow, but the point is, we couldn't help them all. I think by watching the show and listening to you, doctor, we did help them because your book on how to get pregnant with a new technology has been terrific. So, we have two couples standing by backstage who have been chosen, but they don't know that they are the lucky ones that have been selected. They think they're just here to tell their stories about infertility, okay? So, later on, we're going to bring them out and we're going to tell them on the air that they're the ones that are going to now go to St. Luke's and work with Dr. Silver and we think end up with babies. But first, let's greet again the doctor who will be working with these couples. Will you please welcome again oh, Dr. Sherman Silver. How nice to have you on again, Dr. Thank you. Thank you. book again is called How to Get Pregnant with a New Technology, which has been so helpful. Why, is, why did you pick these two couples? You went through so many tapes, and every tape to me was so meaningful, such a killer, you know. I, I agree with you. It, it actually, to be honest, it, it has to be almost a random process because every story is a heartbreaker, and we're talking about 25% of couples that are infertile. So my whole view in this was just to realize that these two people are a focus, a focal point uh, for everybody else in the country that has this problem, figuring out how they can solve their problem. It's not just the two couples. We will help them, but it's what they stand for. That's, now, we talk about so many ways uh, that people are trying to get pregnant and things that are stopping them. There was one thing we didn't turn about, talk about at all, and that was the procedure of reverse vasectomy, because a lot of men think they're not getting married anymore, and they have vasectomies. What happens when they reverse it? Does that just change overnight and the man can have a baby again? Well, you know, now that's, that's really true. It, it used to, this is a, a pet subject of mine because we developed it about 16 years ago, and it used to be thought that it was absolutely irreversible, and after we developed a method to reconnect it with microsurgery, uh, when the vasectomy was 15 or 20 years earlier, it was still thought to be irreversible because you'd never get any sperm after a good microsurgery. And what we know now, and this is very, very exciting because I was surprised at how many uh, couples out there have that kind of problem right. is that by bypassing all the pressure damage caused by vasectomy itself uh, uh, hidden microscopic damage the surgeon normally wouldn't see we can get to where the normal sperm are right near the testicle itself we can reconnect the sperm duct the vas at that level and 90 percent of men even if the vasectomy was 15 20 30 years ago have normal sperm counts and can get their wives pregnant. Which is great. Now, really we're going to bring out the two couples. We'll go to commercial first, right? And they will bring out the two couples. When we come up, we're going to meet them, the people that have been selected for our Gift of Life program. So don't go anywhere. Very exciting. <laughs>